Right, this is the Craft Series 71 Propo set that I've been working on uh, from 1971. Um, it uh, seems a bit mundane after the uh, reads and single channel encoders, it's just another radio isn't it, but there you go. Um, it's converted using a frisky two-way and uh, as a departure from the usual uh, pick encoders, um, using the Arduino Nano for the first time. <coughs> um, Shame to say that I've only just got into these uh, after years and years of uh, pick programming. Um, but they're really, really easy to work with, dead easy. Uh, it's a bit like digital Lego. There's a frisky module, 2S LiPo, the original stick units, uh, and uh, I do like crafts. It was one of my dream sets as a as a nipper um, when we first started flying. Obviously couldn't afford one then. Right, the first thing you need to do um, from scratch uh, with a, a new encoder is to hold down the button there, switch on and calibrate the stick. So that's full left, left trim, full right, with right trim, full up, with up trim, full down, with down trim, full left, with left trim, full right, with right trim, and at some point the trim is back to neutral again. Uh, low throttle with trim, high throttle with trim. So there we go, that's calibrated now. So switch on. And also it was a neutral. Uh, so that's, I, I fly with the, I fly mode 2 with the servos in Futaba order. So we've got aileron on channel 1, elevator, throttle on 3, rudder on Four. Um, on five, I have a little servo, which is a momentary mic uh, momentary push button. You'd use that for tow release, uh, bomb drops, camera triggers, that kind of thing. Just a momentary action. <coughs> and the last channel is a switched with built-in servo slow. It's that end servo. You can see the. Uh, very slow transit speed there, so you could like slowly lower your flaps or your undercarriage, whichever, that kind of thing. And uh, I'm back again. I'm thinking might might be a little bit too slow, I'm, I'm not sure yet, but uh, there we go. Um, what else does it do? Um, if you notice, right tailor on is towards the receiver at the moment. If we switch on with the stick over, that is the reversing. The so right aileron is now towards the camera. That's reversing. Um, up is towards the receiver. If I switch off, I switch on with up elevator. Up is now towards the camera. So that's your reversing. You switch on with the stick held over. Um, we have rates on this pot, so you you see the amount of movement we have there. I can turn that down with this. Pot, so that's much less movement. In fact, I can hold full throw and just vary the movement with that rates pot. So that's once it clicks, that's zero rates, so that's full movement. The other one is Expo, and I must thank um, Paul Luby for this. Uh, Paul did all the maths for the Expo, I'm rubbish at maths, and uh, Paul appears to be really good at it, so uh, this uses Paul's uh, Expo routine. The only way really to demonstrate it is to um, have it exaggeratedly set, so wind it right up to full and you can see there's not much movement around neutral and it accelerates rapidly towards the extremes so it's very non-linear uh, again turn it right back until it clicks and back to linear operation again um, right it does a range check this as we've already seen is channel 6 uh, the slow servo there if I flick that three times rapidly, we go into a range check mode. So now I can leave the transmitter somewhere, take the model away, and walk away and do a full range check on my own, watching the rudder flapping. And uh, if I just touch the uh, oh, ailerons, whatever it is, uh, just touch the stick and it stops. <coughs> During range check mode, uh, everything still works, except the throttle. The throttle is locked off, but everything else still works but the rudder is banging away on its own. Um, right, the last thing is a mixer which is on this switch. If you imagine those are the two servos in a flying wing um, 
at the moment we've got elevator aileron. If I flick the mixer in, we've got alternate movement for aileron, combined movement for elevator. And it's a reduced rate for elevator, it's 75% aileron, 25% elevator, which is what you'd need for a flying wing, they're very, very sensitive in pitch. And it's hard to, I found out, it's hard to buy a mixer that is anything other than one to one. Um, but um, this is all done in software, obviously. There you go, switch the mixer off. Um, what else does it do? Um, oh, the other thing is, <coughs> um, the Arduino comes with a bootloader, um, which makes it very easy to use, but it slows the thing down. You switch it on, and there's about a second or two seconds delay uh, before the code actually starts running. The reason for that is that it's waiting to talk to your PC to see if you've got anything to download to it, that kind of thing. Um, and we don't need that, so I've removed the bootloader so that it, um, the instant you switch it on, it's instantly generating PPM. Um, that's important to people like Doug who use Corona, because if you power up a Corona module without any PPM, um, it defaults to half a half a millisecond per channel, um, which is way less than the standard, and it's way outside the standard servo range. So the effect of that is to wind your servo right to one end and strip all the gears. Um, so it doesn't do that. It um, uh, presents a PPM at the instant you switch it on. So there you go, um, four proportional channels, one switched, one momentary, expo rates, mixer, range check function, uh, this is the frisky one way or two way, and uh, there you go, works very well. Cheers! Tell, tell me.